Now, the next chapter which we are going to devise is the chapter of baggage. Everyone, baggage. Now, whenever people go out of the country, when they are coming back, they get along with them a lot of goods. Now, government went ahead and saw that those goods which are coming in the bag also should be taxed. And hence, government went ahead and told, we will go ahead and levy custom duty on the baggage also. But however, government have gone ahead and told that one uniform rate will be maintained, which is 35% plus 10% social welfare surcharge. So, let's go ahead and understand baggage ka provision. First of all, what do you mean by baggage? Baggage means the bag which a person gets along with him when he is coming from outside India. Now, baggage includes unaccompanied baggage. For an example, Priyanka Chopra is coming to India. Now, Priyanka Chopra, when she was coming, she had 10 suitcases along with her. So, she got two suitcases along with herself. Remaining eight suitcases were sent later, which did not come along with her, but they were. those are known as unaccompanied baggage. And baggage includes unaccompanied baggage means unaccompanied baggage pay also baggage ka provisions are applicable but does not include motor vehicle motor vehicle is not included in the definition of baggage now when we are learning baggage ka uh, baggage ka chapter we will be learning about section number 77 section number 77 78 79 and section number 80 let's go ahead and understand section number 77 section number 77 goes ahead and says whenever you are coming from outside india you as the owner of the baggage has to go ahead and make a declaration so whenever you are coming out of the of an international airport you have to go ahead and say what are, is there in your baggage you have to go ahead and fill one baggage declaration form basically whenever a person is coming from outside india and he has something dutyable goods on which he has to go ahead and pay the duty he should go, go ahead and make a declaration of its content that what are there in the baggage and he should go ahead and file that baggage declaration form okay sir done next section number 78 goes ahead and says now the day you go ahead and give the baggage declaration form to the custom authorities who are sitting at the international airport, that day ka rate of duty and the tariff value will be applicable to the baggage. So they are going ahead and telling in section number 78, rate of duty and tariff value which is applicable to baggage shall be of which date? That, that will be of the date of filing declaration under section number 77, that is the baggage declaration form. Now, sir, what is the basic custom duty which is applicable on the baggage? Always remember. 9803, 9803 which is the heading goes ahead and says that in the custom tariff act 9803 heading goes ahead and says that baggage pay, baggage basic custom duty on baggage which is exceeding the general free allowance always 100% duty shall be applicable. However, there is an exemption which has come and the exemption has gone ahead and told that 65% duty is exempted and hence ultimately the duty applicable is 35%. However, they have gone ahead and told if you are coming from outside India and in your baggage, there is firearms, cartridges greater than 50. Cartridges means, Baba, firearm means guns and guns, ka, the bullets which are there are known as cartridges. Cigarette, cig uh, cigar and tobacco greater than, cigarette greater than 100, cigar greater than 25 and tobacco greater than 125 gram and also courier import shall always be taxable at the rate of 100%. Yes, sir, we got it. Then we have section number 79, which talks about bona, which goes ahead and says, if bona fide baggage is there, bona fide means for which you have gone ahead and made a true declaration, but bona fide baggage is exempted from duty. Means if you have gone ahead and got from outside India, they are going ahead and telling if it is a bona fide baggage, then we'll go ahead. So we'll go ahead and allow it to be cleared without payment of any duty. Proper officer shall allow bona fide baggage to pass duty free. Article which has been used by the passenger or crew member means personal effect items which are being used. Bona fide baggage free of cost means they will not go ahead and charge any duty. But sir, if you have got other things which are there other than uh, the general free allowance, then they are going ahead and telling articles for use of passenger, family, gift, souvenirs within the limit as per the rules will be allowed to be cleared without any duty. Other than that means if you are going ahead and exceeding, then you will have to go ahead and pay duty. Okay, sir, point is clear. Section number 80, for an example, you are coming from outside India and there are some dutyable goods or some prohibited goods in your bag and you don't want to clear it in India, you go ahead and do one thing. You go ahead and make a proper declaration. Once you go ahead and declare 
that sir these are the goods i am carrying along with myself if you give a true declaration then you can go ahead and give the goods to the proper officer at the port and tell sir when i am going ahead and leaving from india please return my goods in this case you don't have to pay any duty so what they are going ahead and telling temporary detention of baggage where baggage of passenger contains dutiable or prohibited goods and true declaration has been made you have gone ahead and made a true declaration then proper officer may at the request of the passenger detain said artic such article and return it to him on his leaving india so when i'm leaving from india i went ahead and went from some different port i did not collect it then baba in that scenario you can tell the you can go ahead and uh, tell any of your friend you can authorize any person and that person can collect the goods when he is coming from india or you can go ahead and tell the officer that sir i will go ahead and pay the duty whatever is the cargo charges please send it to me please ship it to me so it says if passenger is unable to collect return through other authorized passenger or as cargo okay sir now whenever you are going ahead and learning baggage baggage mein section number 77 true declaration to be made section number 78 rate of duty and tariff value will be basically applicable as on the date of baggage declaration form the day baggage declaration form is filed sir section number 78 bona fide baggage shall be exempted from duty section number 70 uh, 17 8 told 79 told bona fide baggage shall be exempted from duty 80 told temporary detention of baggage will be done if they are dutiable goods or prohibited goods for which you have gone ahead and made a true declaration now along with baggage we have to go ahead and learn baggage when we are learning we have to go ahead and learn baggage baggage ka rules which are there baggage rules 2016 now here rule number 1 just goes ahead and tells the name rule number 2 goes ahead and gives the definition rule number 3 goes ahead and says whenever you are coming from outside india if you are a passenger who is arriving from countries other than nepal bhutan and myanmar nepal bhutan and myanmar basically the landlocked countries they are telling if you are a person who is coming from any other country other than nepal bhutan and myanmar if you are a indian resident or you are a person if you are a foreigner who is now residing in india or you are a tourist of indian origin basically you have settled abroad but you have you are coming on a tour to india then they are telling general free allowance another other than an extra one item an extra one items are not allowed in general free allowance other than that general free allowance of 50000 shall be given to you however if you are a passenger who is coming from nepal bhutan and myanmar other than land route land route may no general free allowance is given if you are coming from nepal bhutan and myanmar for an example you are coming by air from nepal bhutan myanmar then they are going ahead and telling if you are indian tourist or a foreigner residing in india or a tourist of indian origin then instead of 50000 it will be just 15000 always remember if a foreign tourist is coming into india baba this foreign tourist who will come with their backpacks foreign tourist theek hai american supposedly american tourist has come to india only on a tour then baba always remember whether he is coming from nepal bhutan myanmar by air route or is coming from any other country foreign tourist other than an extra one item shall be allowed how much 15000 ka general free allowance is given if it there is a infant which is basically a children up to 2 years ka age then nothing shall be allowed this is rule number 3 and rule number 4 now one rule number 5 is also there which goes ahead and talks about jewelry if you are a person who is coming from abroad and you are carrying ornaments sir jewelry may you have to always remember one is ornaments ornaments like all these items which are there rings etc that they are going ahead and telling ornaments will go ahead and allow in general free allowance however it is coin bar etc then it is an extra one item and duty on the full amount has to be paid there is no general free allowance which will be given no exemption at all okay sir but sir if i am carrying ornaments then then they are going ahead and telling please check the period of stay if the stay is up to one year then baba whatever general fee allowance is given 50000 or 15000 in case of nepal bhutan and myanmar within that limit only you have to go ahead and clear your jewelry also but if your stay is greater than one year if your stay is greater than one year then they are going ahead and telling we will go ahead and give you a general fee allowance which is additional benefit general fee allowance is 50000 additional benefit for jewelry additional allowance for jewelry will be given for men 20 g up to a limit of 50000 for a lady 40 g and up to a limit of 1 lakh okay sir point is clear let's go ahead and do one example for an example mr tejas is coming from outside india it is assumed that they have gone ahead and stay uh, he has gone ahead and stayed for greater than 1 year and general fee allowance is already utilized now other than general fee allowance he has additional benefit how much 
20 gram but he has carried 18 gram very good value limit is only 50 but he has the value limit of the gold he has carried is 54,000 and hence 4,000 pay 35% plus 10% which is 38.50 duty shall be applicable. Mrs. Tejas, sir 35 gram allow 40 gram here 1 lakh 20,000 and hence 20,000 rupees pay 38.50% duty shall be applicable. Mr. Endel, Mr. Elden 24 gram 48,000 sir over here 20 gram is allowed 40,000 rupees so Mr. Elden ke liye 24 gram 48,000 everyone 48,000 is fine but 20 gram is only allowed and hence 4 gram which is 2,000 rupees per gram because 48,000 divided by 24 gram per gram 2,000 2,000 into 4 gram 8,000 at the rate 38.50 duty shall be payable everyone over here now. For an example, one person has come from outside India. How will duty be calculated? Everyone, now, first of all, always these three kinds of items will be kept aside. So, when the person who is at the port, who is opening your suitcase, he will do one thing. Whatever is your used personal effect, for example, your clothes, your belt, whatever is your used personal effect. Sir, what do you mean by personal effect? Personal effect means things for satisfying daily necessity, but excluding jewelry. Jewelry is never personal effect okay sir personal effect and travel seven years no limit always remember whatever personal effect you are getting or travel souvenir for bona fide purpose means 5 10 15 travel souvenirs are allowed okay sir point is clear other than that one laptop computer for passengers greater than equal to 18 years no value limit it shall be allowed exempted from import duty so you got personal effect no duty Travel souvenirs, no duty. Third, laptop, no duty. Okay, sir, point is clear. Then, he will go ahead and start seeing other items. In other items, there are some items which all the items are covered in general fee allowance. But, there are items which are not covered in general fee allowance, which is NX chair 1 item. And NX chair 1 items are firearms, cartridges greater than 50, and baba, cigarette, cigar, and tobacco. Cigarette 100, cigar, cigarette greater than 100, cigar greater than 25, and Sir, 100 plus 25, 125 grams of tobacco. Always remember, if you are exceeding that, then it is an NXT1 item. Okay, sir. An alcoholic liquor greater than 2 liter, gold, silver in any other form other than ornament, and flat funnel TV, which is LCD, LED TV, etc. All these six items are covered in NXT1. Other than this item, whatever you are carrying for an example cigarette cigar tobacco up to 125 125 alcoholic liquor or wine up to 2 liter ornaments within the limit which is told in uh, rule number 5 okay sir then cartridges up to 50 baba ornaments ke liye always remember ornaments come in general free allowance for an example whatever ornaments are there what basically they will do they will go ahead and write it over here they will go ahead and write it over here. Any other articles which are there which are not personal effect. For an example, they told you household effect. Put it over here. Make the total. And then, please go ahead and mind, deduct whatever rule number 3 or rule number 4 may it is told. If you are coming from other than Nepal, Bhutan and Myanmar, 50,000. Nepal, Bhutan and Myanmar by air road, 15,000. Please go ahead and deduct that. Remaining pay, 35% plus 10% social welfare surcharge will come. Always remember, other than this general fee allowance, if you are getting ornaments and Baba, your stay was greater than one year, then additional benefit of jewelry will be given to you. Okay, sir. Always remember now one thing. An extra one item, an extra one item which are there, which is firearms. Everyone listen, firearms you can't clear in your general fee allowance. Okay, cartridges greater than 50, you can't clear, means up to 50 you can clear. And cigarette, cigar and tobacco greater than 100 greater than 25 greater than 125 gram it is 100 percent plus 10 percent social welfare surcharge even if you have general fee allowance this firearms cartridges greater than 50 cigarette cigar tobacco greater than 125 and 125 gram you can't clear in your general fee allowance alcoholic liquor greater than two liters also you can't go ahead and clear in your general fee allowance it is taxed at the rate of commercial import if you go ahead and get more than two liters always remember it is commercial imports and the rate of duty will be applicable as it is applicable on alcoholic liquor when they are imported as commercial import and hence baba they will not go ahead and ask you in the exam alcoholic liquor greater than two liter because alcoholic liquor greater than two liters is not allowed in baggage 9803 which is the heading is not applicable for that 
okay so hence you will not be able to go ahead and clear more than two liter in that scenario always you have to go ahead and clear it as commercial import however sir what about gold and silver gold silver or flat panel tvs which are there in this scenario always remember it is 35 percent plus 10 percent social welfare surcharge which will be charged if they go ahead and ask you in the exam actually if you go ahead and see gold in pure form which is being imported for that they are not supposed to clear it only but still for your exam purpose what i can go ahead and say is gold silver or flat panel tv which is there 35 percent plus 10 percent alcoholic liquor greater than two liter commercial imports only okay sir point is clear let's go ahead next sir now import important note over here be alert when the question is talking about nepal bhutan and myanmar because only if you are coming by air you will go ahead and get extra due extra on uh, general fee allowance otherwise you will not get any general fee allowance if you are coming by nepal bhutan and uh, myanmar by air if by land route if you are coming from nepal bhutan and myanmar by air route air route only then 15000 is there okay sir passenger arriving by land from nepal bhutan and myanmar only use personal effect no general fee allowance is given single article cannot be cleared by two passengers together you can't go ahead and say sir can we go ahead and pull so for an example four five friends ten friends are coming from outside india they are telling one big item we have got we'll clear it together fifty thousand of all no baba two people ka general fee allowance or three people ka general fee allowance can't be club next resident who is a resident a resident is a person who is holding a valid passport and he is a normal normally residing in india sir what do you mean by tourist a tourist means a person who is not a normal resident of india and baba he enters into india for a period up to six months in 12 month period for legitimate non-immigrant purpose sir for infant always remember in case of infant all his personal belongings which are there personal effect items which are there are allowed other than that nothing is allowed okay sir point is clear only use personal effect is allowed for duty free clearance laptop can be termed in your exam as laptop computer notebook computer always remember that's a laptop now rule number six in your baggage rules goes ahead and talks about transfer of residence transfer of residence i will not go ahead and teach it or i will not be revising you can read your textbook if you want to they don't generally don't go ahead and ask questions on rule number six then we have rule number seven which is talking about currency currency always remember whenever you are getting currency or taking from india currency currency ka import and export is governed by fema please don't get more than that please don't take more from india outside india more than that okay sir rule number eight goes ahead and talks about unaccompanied baggage provision regarding unaccompanied baggage sir unaccompanied baggage what is the provision here always remember one thing sir what is an unaccompanied baggage unaccompanied baggage means you would have landed today but your baggage is coming after you or your baggage has already come then you are coming that is known as unaccompanied baggage and unaccompanied baggage is also baggage and on that baggage provisions are applicable baggage rules apply to unaccompanied baggage what is it talking about proviso says unaccompanied baggage has been possession abroad of the passenger and dispatched within one month of arrival passenger arrived over here they are going ahead and telling sir once the passenger has arrived supposingly the passenger arrived over here then they are going ahead and telling within one year within one month sorry within one month the unaccompanied baggage should be dispatched from abroad okay or further period which is allowed by the ac or dc unaccompanied baggage may land two months prior so passenger arrived over here two months prior also the passen the baggage might land number one baggage landed passenger came after two months okay that is also unaccompanied baggage passenger came after one month within one month basically within one month the unaccompanied baggage should be dispatched from the other country okay sir so it says over here unaccompanied baggage may land in india two months before arrival of the passenger or within such period not exceeding one year uh, not exceeding one year as the scdc may allow for the reason to be recorded might be there was some illness natural calamity etc what they are going ahead and telling for an example baggage already came over here once the baggage has come you should arrive into india within two months unaccompanied baggage may land in india within two months before the arrival of the passenger passenger came over here sir within two months before arrival the baggage should have come for an example baggage came over here within two months 
Supposingly, Priyanka Chopra, she should have come into India. Now, sir, for an example, say six, she could not come. Then ACDC might go ahead and extend the time limit. But for a not, not a period greater than one year. Means up to one year. Okay, sir. Here, Baba, we are done with... No, no, no. We have rule number nine also, which goes ahead and talks about all these people, crew members, etc., who is coming from outside India. Application of baggage rules to crew member. So, supposingly, these people are coming from outside India. Can they get every time 15,000, 50,000 ka goods? No, government went ahead and clarified. On duty, crew members are allowed to bring chocolates, cheese, cosmetic, gift item for self, family use up to 1500. On termination of job, Normally, the baggage rules will be applicable. Baggage rule applicable to crew members as if he or she is a passenger. Here we are done with a quick revision of your baggage rules, everyone.